welcome back to another episode of jumbish me and the master we would like to extend a hearty welcome to our panelists as well as our audience today for the rest of the season jumbish has gathered a diverse group of really skilled artists to present in front of you as like our previous episodes we hope that today's questions will give you some insight into the art world as well as the lives and the works of our panelists today here with you all your host rahul chakravarti a traveler artist and co-founder of jumbish before we start with the episode i would like to take a second to talk about jumbish it's a company that collaborates creativity and technology together and opens up earning opportunities for the artist we have launched a one kind of microchip known as jumbish digital authentication tag jdat that provides hassle free authentication and provenance management of artworks jumbish me and the master is a jumbish creations project that aims to showcase the complex nature of art world it's been a wonderful chance for us to welcome some of the industry's top achievers as well as some rising stars today we have with us mr nageshwar rao as a master artist mr rao was born in 1955 at fedravuru village in andhra pradesh he is a self taught artist who moved to chennai after his education where after meeting the owner of the magazine chand mama he got motivated to start sketching he worked as a publicity artist in cine industry as well as arkashwami advertising in madras nageshwar was actually spent 4 years of his life in saudi arabia and is now presently living in hyderabad his work mainly consists of figurative and the medium is acrylic and mixed media on canvas over the year mr rao has owned several awards for the work and his collection are in different countries like india us and canada mr rao welcome to our show thank you thank you for joining us next we have uh, silvia feini as a professional artist from italy silvia was born in milan in 1964 and has 20 year of experience in the field of fashion where she has worked as a freelance sales agent for brands like gucci prada and marini silvia has also specialized in interior decor mainly in the form of murals her personal approach to the art world as creating works in black and white which she then filled with color through the skill use of aquarella she has also participated in several collective art shows across italy and held a number of personal exhibition a very successful artist silvia welcome to the show jumbish me and master hi everybody i'm very happy to be here thank you pleasure next uh, we have with us kirti kirti puja she has received her bfa in college of andhra university in 2018 and her mfa in print making from ms university vadodara gujarat 2020 she is a very successful student and got gold medal kirti has participated and been rewarded in many competitions and workshop she was also the runner up for indian printmaker house in 2021 how are you kirti welcome to the show thank you hello everyone hello so thank you all for taking time out and joining us for today's show before we start the show let me brief about the show it will start with art and career then we'll go to your views where panelists will say share their views then the rapid fire and we'll end up by your artwork where you will ask to show your artwork and we'll brief about the artwork so i would like to remind our viewers that you can post your questions in the comment section and don't forget to mention the panelist name 
and the panelist will surely get back to you. So let's begin. The first segment we called art and career. So my questions to Mr. Nageshwar that you said, and I quote, never envisioned a life where you were anything but an artist. What was the turning point in your art career, Mr. Rao? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jimish. Thank you, Rahul. Thank you. Please go ahead. Without, without knowing myself, I started doing sketching from the childhood onwards. After finishing my graduation, I moved to Chennai. There I worked in several places, scenic career, publicity and advertising. Now back then, I used to go to beaches. I will do a lot of sketching. Like that, I picked up a style. Particularly, I love figurative works. So I started doing figurative public. So like that, I started. So my career was started like that. Please. So, yes, we can understand that there, uh, before you start for uh, your art career, I believe it starts with the sketch. Uh, that is very, very important. And that way, uh, Mr. Rao has started that with the sketch and then open up the art, art quotient in, into his life. And gradually, he builds up his career in art. Nice, nice to have your uh, beautiful yeah. perception. Let's move uh, to our professional artist, Sylvia. So, Sylvia, you have had such a diverse career as a painter and a glass engraver. You teach through a lot of creative art workshops. So, what has your journey been like? How was your journey, Sylvia? Okay, I started um, when I was already an adult because I, I don't have, a, a, I mean, a, a background in school art. I am a self-taught painter. And uh, I started mm, at, at the beginning with black and white graphic with ink drawings uh, because I was very uh, afraid about color. Um, but then I fell in love with the watercolor and then I started to, 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 to create artworks in watercolor. And uh, I also, I am also an engraver, a glass engraver, and I I cooperate with uh, firms uh, such as uh, Hermes and Dior, uh, and I travel in all the boutiques uh, with, um, with my art, uh, live painting and live engraving. Um, and then I, I, I became also a, a watercolor teacher, as you know. And, uh, and so it, my, my, my first, um, my, my job, it, it became uh, art. Art became my job. Nicely said, art became my job. And uh, that is the great part of this, that this show, that we have got two self-taught artists and they are very successful. And, uh, and they, they are enjoying their art uh, just by creating and sharing. Uh, and that is the best part of art, that, that is art is not restricted uh, with, the, uh, with the segment who basically comes out from the art school and colleges. They are being respected throughout all, the, all across and even those are self-taught artists like Mr. Nagesha Rao and Sylvia. And they have built up in such a way that art has become their job and passion and they are living their passion. So nice to get your answer, uh, Sylvia. So we uh, move to our upcoming artist, uh, Kirti. Uh, what has your college experience in an art institution been like? If you share something, uh, Kirti. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh since my childhood only I started painting because I have art in my genes, I suppose, because my grandfather to my aunt to my mom, everyone is an artist. So for me, it was like more about right from the A alphabet, I have drawn A for apple. So that is how I started. And why not? It as a career so my parents and even my family everyone supported me for art as a career and then when I joined college it was a different world I learned 
i got to know many people and i interacted with teachers and all and this is how and my passion became my career and my studies and everything was art for me so this is how yeah nice kirti very nice to hear from you um very promising artist and uh, come out from a art college so let's move on to our next segment and this segment is called your views matter all of will have 2 minutes to answer of each questions uh to i, I straight go to the kirti that uh, kirti what your thoughts on art forgery uh, right so uh, for me art forgery is of course totally wrong because uh, you are taking advantage of someone else hard work which is not just a piece of art but it, it depends like it has lots of things involved right from the sketch to the thought process and everything is included and to make misuse of it is too wrong and a person who knows art and who loves art would not do that so uh, i believe that great masters or maybe anyone else be be me or you anyone else has a work and it has whole heart and soul in it once someone takes it for other advantages it is very wrong for me yeah for it's too wrong yeah okay so i have another uh, i want to ask another thing <laughs> to you i found like uh, you do lot of uh, art practices in your daily class uh, and take the subject from the master artist take the reference from the master artist what do you want to say about that that is that a copy or is it necessary yes uh, no for me like uh, since i have been in an art school right from my bachelor's to my masters we have lots of set of artists who are great masters and to copy that just for like to get inspired from or copy just to make your art more good is like nothing wrong in that but to make misuse of it is wrong so we have okay. lots of artists we whom we copy works and we feel that uh, if i copy their work maybe the our work it's not basically copy means a bit of xerox copy of it maybe a bit of influence or something but that is different than this yeah so you are want to say, you want to say that to build up the skills and to build up the more accuracy or kind of uh, like your sharpness on on particular skill because that is mostly skill skill based when you are copying something and it is necessary at the yeah, case of yeah, yeah at the exactly. case of studying we can say the study work in the beginning ages in exactly. the beginning yes exactly. exactly the beginning stage yes yes thank you thank you kirti for your uh, perspective on on forgery and let's move to our professional uh, artist yes. and uh, silvia all these years of you being an artist has your artwork ever been copied uh, uh, please share you, your experience yeah yeah you you know as you told uh, as you said before i am very happy to share my work especially through social media such as instagram and facebook that uh, i saw my artwork being copied but i'm not so worried about this another another aspect uh, which is very important in my activity is uh, teaching uh, watercolor and so i i used to of course to propose mostly uh, watercolor uh, uh, technique uh, technical exercises but sometimes i i also share my inner art because i you know i am a person so it's impossible to 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 share my person from the teacher and so i i used sometimes i share my my inner art and i i am always very surprised when i uh, when i see my students uh, uh, interpreting uh, my my art and and it's something which is not so easy to accept sometimes because you are jealous about it but it's also very interesting so i am not i'm not very worried about uh, copying uh, someone copying my art it's nice perspective uh, and uh, i believe that it is very very uh, valid even sometime that when you are a teacher then you are letting uh, you are you are open for sharing and in that case if somebody the students uh, they copy their master's work in that case silvia is much open on that 
I got the point and it is really nice, Sylvia, to get your perspective on that. So let's move to our master artist and uh, to Mr. Rao. That what do you feel about royalties and authentication system laws, Mr. Rao? Yeah, royalties are uh, very good. It's a new idea for artists. Previously, it was not there. One person to other person when, uh, when they are changing. So artists should get uh, some benefits. That is very good. Previously, it was there already, not, not in art line, in different lines, music line and other things I heard. But authentication is very important. So, we should not encourage a forgery at all. And even buyers should know what is original, which is original, which is duplicate. And they should not encourage those artists who are copying. So, authentication is very good. So, artist is giving, this is the original, copyright, something like copyright. It is very good. But we should not encourage forgery. That is my opinion. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rao, for, for your uh, view. Uh, let's go to our third segment and it will be fun for me. Uh, it is time to add some fun into our entire uh, recording and link, entire session. Uh, we have special segment where we play around with some questions. Uh, you have to answer that comes to your mind first when you hear the following words or question. So, I believe everybody is ready. Let's start with Kirti. Are you ready, Kirti? Yes. Yes. First love. Art. College. Teachers, professors. Prefer what watercolor brand? Or prefer color brand? Depends on the work. Depends on the work. Reality? Yeah. Something which you visualize and then you portray it. Nice. For me. Okay. For the final question, can you think of a famous artist you would like to hear remark on your work? Yeah, there are lots of them so i can't name actually one because i have a list of them so mm -hmm. like uh, one is varmir i feel uh, like for an artist varmir so there are many of them whom i feel that maybe yeah great great thank you so let's go to our uh, professional artist sylvia are you ready sylvia i'm ready rahul great glass <laughs> Oh, glass uh, is uh, transparency. Favorite gallery? I really loved uh, the MoMA, MoMA in New York. MoMA. <laughs> yes, MoMA. One famous artist that you basically look up to, you are following or you love? Uh, that I have many, many artists that I follow and I love uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, Except, uh, of course, uh, Raul Chakrabarti, <laughs> who is yes. one of my favorite. Uh, I really love uh, Eudes Correa. A uh, brand that you love to work with? I, I really love uh, Hanne Mule as paper, and I really love Schminke as uh, watercolors. Okay, so the, my next question was, what is your favorite paper? That is Hanne Mule. Hanemule, yeah. In, in this oh. moment, Hanemule. I always change, but in this moment, Hanemule is very good for me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Sylvia. You're welcome. You're yeah. welcome. So next to our master artist, and uh, are you ready, Mr. Rao? Yeah. Okay. Balloon. Balloon. Need everyday motivation, everyday energy. Yes. Deccan Chronicle. It's a great... Uh, what do you say? Great name. Inspiration. Inspiration. Village people. Your favorite collaboration? Favorite means Chandamama artist only. Okay. okay. Yeah. Inspired by. Yes. So nice. We, we have done with our this segment. Let's go to our next segment where we need to brief. You need to brief your art.
and uh, let's go to our upcoming artist kirti uh, can you show two of your artwork and share your thought process behind that creation yeah sure yes so we, we can see kirti's art here work. yes 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 so basically like uh, as i told you i, do, I did my bachelor's in painting and then masters in print making so this is a print making work where i have the print in the top and this is the bottom where i have uh, the cloth been wrapped with a print so this actually i work more about like bazaar and the people i meet day to day uh, labors maybe a bit of migration is also included in my work so where i like uh, i feel that this bundles actually the portly which i have made over there is the portly which is like a bundle of memories actually which is been tied into a thing which can't be really like open to everyone so their life actually is this the same sort and this in current situation it applies more exactly because this pandemic has like uh, dip, like it has changed the migrants like we see pe many people migrating and suffering through it so this is how i portray my work yeah so thank you uh, it's a nice concept and yeah. uh, i believe like that portly has a kind of last um, um asset that they basically carry every day like uh, very very basic uh, requirements and the basic journeys that we basically one make with this is, yes I, also one thing is that this portly actually is not only a portly actually right okay. so it has lots of things in that like if i say myself then it is just like my artwork but i have seen many people coming to me telling about different things which i did not think about and they come up with maybe this is also one thing right true, so true. this portly has lots of associations yes exactly lots of pers perspective like what people different different people exactly. see from there yes yeah. so this is the another one right yes okay Yes and this is another one this is a quite very recent work in 2020 when i started it and like this is mainly about the pandemic and then how i felt that is uh, and this is watercolors a set of like many works i just have it to 12 over here so this is basically only the hands and the legs and some gestures of the vendors like mainly the flower sellers which i feel that where it is just a portrait of a single thing it is not their identity which is being shown it is just their occupation which has importance of so in my work i i show this I, and i feel that once it is there and once once it is like been portrayed it is just their hands which has value it is just the flowers which has value it is not their face so this is how yeah true true so yeah that would if you can just uh, move place to place that our viewers can see uh, the depth of the work uh, we got the perspective we got the uh, background uh, inspirational stories but for the viewers uh, that i would like to show them that the it's a kind of a collage uh because these are the words that i would take permission from kirti to use that because it's a it's a uh, it's a lot of uh, segment of um, uh, segments that is been kept in a one uh, canvas or the paper and yes. it is a aquarella it's a watercolor uh, any series one. yeah yes so it is a series of work which has been compiled Wonderful. into one Wonderful. with lots of details yeah with with lots of flowers and then, and and also it is not a very colorful image because i wanted to, it to be a very subtle and a very minimal approach exactly. to it where lot of white space i can see mm -hmm. yes yes and that is how i work like i yes, work yes. this way yeah very nice kirti and uh, wish you all the best this is incredible uh, work and we are privileged to see thank this thank you work. thank you yeah. so much so let's uh, go to our professional artist uh, 
I would like to request Sylvia that if you can show some of your work, then our backend team is going to share that thing and yeah. Sylvia's work. Yes, Sylvia, please share yeah. your thought. Okay. This is a, a very important uh, work for me because it's the combination of my past and my present. Because when I started with watercolor, I started with very plain, uh, no lights and no darks, just plain color. And I started with these geometrical shapes. Uh, uh, in particular, this is uh, like uh, uh, an, ad an identification symbol for me which is this uh, circle inside a, rectangle, a rectangular form, which means uh, uh, the center, the center, the essence of a person. And so it's my center together with uh, other centers with different persons. And uh, especially this year, I, I really fell in love with portraits. And so um, <coughs> now I am working a lot on, on the portrait, on the, on the faces. And so this is a, a girl. And uh, in, in my present uh, um, time, I am working uh, on lights and darks, uh, on uh, three-dimensional, on values. And so um, I, I, I liked to, to put together <laughs> my past view with my present view. So this is a, a combination of the, of the two. Wonderful. And I have, I have easily can make it out that is your style. That is Sylvia's style. Uh, that is a great thing about that. And I believe that this lady is you. What do you say about that? <laughs> I don't know. I know. No, it's not me. I, it's, I, I, it's I, not no, you. It's, it's okay. not me. It's not okay. me. It's younger. Say, uh, it's, it's younger, it's, Rahul. It's younger. <laughs> <laughs> is, it a, is it a absolutely ideal, idealistic part? Like is an ideal woman or just like a regular yeah. I mean, it's, of course, it's a part of me because, you, you know, in this image, I, I am looking at the past, but I have it together with me. I mean, the Wonderful. face is not mine, but the idea is that it's me looking at the past and putting all together, finally, the past and the present. Wow. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your sharing. And uh, let's yes, move to you. our master artist. Uh, I would request uh, Mr. Rao to share his work and that we can able to see his work and here it is it is taking a little bit of time uh, but again uh, i would like to know about uh, mr rao how you basically what is what are the thought process uh, behind your artwork that would like to know and i like uh, telugu culture Yes, traditions, our traditions. Mm -hmm. So I'll focus on that. Mainly rural people, they are very innocent. So they don't uh, keep anything in their mind and they say something else. Whatever they thought, they will express. That frankliness, I like it. So I used to sketch their traditions, costumes, sari wearing, big, big bindis. I like those things. And particularly this painting. After returning from work, friends are sitting, casually sitting, very casually. So different postures. Their feelings, their attitude. So those things. I express it in my in our painting. Nice. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Rao. And uh, we are just. Uh, I, I this believe this has come. This the, yes, at last. Yes. This is the one I told you. After yes. returning from the work, daily work, friends are sitting casually, mm -hmm. and they are sharing their views. It's in different postures, very casual postures. True. So no botheration, nothing. Hmm. In their faces, you can find out their innocence. And at the same time, the culture also, Telugu culture, traditions. So a lot of simplicity is there. I, I, yeah. I found that a lot of simplicity and, uh, yes. and, yes. The, and the ruralness is, is been depicting in yeah. the entire uh, painting. So wonderful uh, for this, for this uh, sharing that you have shared with us. 
uh, your perspective and thought process behind your artwork. And we are just end of our uh, our show. That uh, yes, could you please talk about this painting? Yes. Yeah, this is a busy life. So from morning eight o'clock onwards, people will be busy. Whether rural or urban people, they will be going here and there, their offices, there to work. That thing I depicted. Okay. Many Great characters. to see. Great to see. Yeah, many, many, many uh, figures are yeah. there, and yeah, we can we can find it out from this painting. Wonderful. Uh, so we are just running out of the time and we need to finish it up, the program. And it is really wonderful to get a lot of perspective on the creation and their thought process and their um, uh, brushwork. A lot many things we have received uh, from three uh, panelists today. Uh, we are just ending up this program. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And one of our panelists will get back to you. And... Uh, since we are near to our show, ending up uh, of our show, I would like to thank all the artists here for guiding us through their beautiful collection of waterworks. And next, I would like to thank everyone here today, the audience, for you, this program is all about. Uh, see you next Saturday on the same channel with a new panelist. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe. Uh, signing off, this is Rahul, your host. Thank you, Jumbish. From Jumbish. Thank Take you. care. Thank you very much. And before I end up, uh, please log into www.jumbish.in and uh, nft.jumbish.co for more information about Jumbish and related programs. Thank you very much. Thank you all.